Hello honeys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ashley here and in today's video we are going to be talking all about my skincare favorites. Uh, everything that I have been using on my skin literally since quarantine started, so for the last four months or so, these are products that I've picked up and I have loved them so much and my skin has cleared up so much. And yeah, so if you guys want to see what I use, use to clear my skin, definitely keep on watching and let's get right on into it. Alright, so before I start this video, I want to talk about my skin type. I have oily skin if, for those of you that are new here um, and very sensitive and taking really good care of my skin. One, I haven't been wearing makeup that often. Um, this is like the first time in a really long time I've worn makeup. I wear it for videos, but I don't really wear makeup every day. I just, it's just not something I do. I like to let my skin breathe. Um, but yeah, so I am going to insert a clip of what my skin looks like now. Currently in a very non-acne state. I have always dealt with cystic acne and some scarring. And right now, I feel like most of the scarring has gone away. I still have some scarring right here on my cheeks as well as on the other side and my nose I have really bad sunspots I burned for the first time ever like, like six years ago and wear sunscreen folks your face is so important wear sunscreen it anti-aging you won't wrinkle you won't wrinkle as fast and like it's just good it's just good just use sunscreen for the most part, my skin is pretty clear. I actually really enjoy not wearing makeup at all. Um, and I feel really comfortable in my own skin. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off in no particular order really because there's really, I use six products pretty like pretty often when I wash my face. Um, I try to be diligent every day. It's not something, I'm not gonna sit here and, uh, and say that I am perfect and that I I do my skincare routine every day. I just don't. There are days where I miss doing the full routine, but I never forget to wash my face. I always wash my face in the shower. Like there's, that does not change. Um, with that being said, the first product I'm gonna talk about is the Garnier Fructis Micellar Water. This is the sensitive one. Yeah, so this is the sensitive one. Um, this does not take a lot. Um, you literally just like one squeeze and you're good to go. And that brings me to my point. I do not, I no longer use makeup wipes. So you guys won't see makeup wipes on this channel. Um, I have been swayed a different way. I double cleanse, especially when I'm wearing makeup. I just noticed that I wasn't getting enough of the products off and I was being more abrasive with makeup wipes. So I just decided to exnay and I also have been watching skincare by Hiram both on his YouTube channel and his TikTok. I love 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 his channel. I literally could sit there and watch him for hours and learn about skincare. If you are a skincare newbie, I would definitely go check out his channel. I will link it down below. It is absolutely incredible. It's very informative and you get to learn about certain ingredients like why they're good for certain skin types. It's just great. It's just great. So, I and to combat not using a makeup wipe anymore, I use these reusable cotton pads. Um, they are great. Um, mine I bought off of Amazon. I literally just throw this little bag in the washing machine. And honestly, this is, it. they work wonders. I just use a little bit and I can use front and back in a sitting. And, I just, and then I will go in with my tried and true this thing has turned into a holy grail for me um yeah thing has turned into a holy grail for me this is the CeraVe um foaming facial cleanser I have the foaming kind um there is another kind for normal to dry skin so if you have that skin type definitely give it a try um this one is for normal to oily skin um this I feel like has been my saving grace and I got the value size so it's huge I mean this thing is massive so it'll take me a really long time to go through it but this has such amazing properties this has um, hyaluronic acid <laughs> so it has hyaluronic acid not niacinamide which is incredibly great for minimizing pores and getting rid of texture and also brightening the skin it's overall a really good um, high ingredient to have in a product if you're on a budget this is like great for just washing your face every day it's it 
when it says foaming, it gets in, it gets such a nice lather. And honestly, I had a problem with um, cleansers really stripping my skin of all the natural oils. And unfortunately, I could use one and really like it. And then five months from then, it would just start stripping my skin, which I had a problem with. The um, it's in a favorites video actually um, with the fresh soy cleanser. It is supposed to be extremely gentle for sensitive skin. It doesn't have anything in it. It barely has even a smell. And unfortunately, the more I used it, the more I noticed my skin was getting super flaky um, on my cheeks and my forehead, and it just wasn't wasn't really doing my skin any good. So I had to stop using that. And that's when I found Hiram, and he suggested this. So I really like those two in combination. For the most part, I will use this every day um, and these join together when I have makeup and at night. I don't, I basically just rinse my face with water and put moisturizer and that is it in the mornings. Um, in the after, in the evenings, that's when I do the whole six, six thing process um, and I've noticed such a difference in my skin. Um, that's gonna bring in these Ordinary products. I love the Ordinary. They're so inexpensive and you get such high quality ingredients in them that it just makes it worth your money. Like why spend money on Tatcha or you know, even Drunk Elephant really, when you can get the same kind of product from The Ordinary. So I don't do this all the time. I do not do toner all the time. I don't even think it's necessary. It's like just one of those things if you feel like you should wanna do, just do it. Um, this is The Ordinary glycolic acid toner. I think it's really nice. It has a pH of 3.6, so you're gonna want to um, use sunscreen. All of these products are going to make your skin way more sensitive to the sun. Um, so I'm gonna preface with the fact that you need to use a sunscreen if you are going to use any of these products um, in combination with one another. And yeah, I just wanna say that. Um, I do not have one to show you, but I did use the Bare Republic one for a little while um, and I'm, on, I'm just on a lookout for a lighter sunscreen but also a higher concentration just like a a really nice like moisturizing one that's really what i want because i like i just like that and i let it sit on my skin especially because i don't wear makeup every day so i like to get that little glow even though i have oily skin um but yeah so this is the toner i use this sometimes i don't use it every time i do my face but i really like it so I do suggest it. Um, and then I have these two droppers from The Ordinary. This is the niacinamide. Um, this thing, if you are going to buy anything from The Ordinary, I suggest this 100%. This niacinamide solution is the best out there. I think my skin has drastically improved because of this. Um, I literally put it all over my face you know, a little goes a long way for me. I don't have to use a lot, but it has helped my texture so much. I don't have any, any texture on my cheeks, which used to be really, really bad. I used to be able to like see the texture when I wore foundation. Don't have that problem anymore. My foundation lies so nice and smooth on my skin. It's just really, really, it's just really nice. I definitely suggest this. And then I will use the caffeine solution dropper um, just under my under eyes. It's meant to brighten the under eyes, get rid of puffiness. Um, this is great. Um, I do suggest this if you're gonna buy something. I love that. I don't really have much to say about it. It really does its job. It does minimize puffiness. I, I use both of these in the evening. I do not use them during the day. Um, if I'm feeling extra puffy in the morning, I will go in with this, but I don't really find it necessary sometimes. And then once every so often, and I mean every so often, I mean probably like maybe two times a month at minimum, um, I will use the AHA and BHA healing solution. And this, I'm sure you've seen all over TikTok. This is like very popular on TikTok at the moment, but it's also very stripping of the skin. This has the coolest consistency. It's literally almost like blood. It's so cool. It's, yeah, it does a really good job. Um, it does, um, it does exfoliate. This is another product that if you have crazy texture on the skin uh, that you can notice, like little bumps or anything like that, I would definitely suggest this um, alongside the, just using niacinamide products like 
this is a good one. Um, not necessary, but if you want to kind of move along the process of getting rid of texture, I would, I would suggest this. Um, and then I'm pretty much done and then I will go in with a moisturizer. This is one that I've been using like the consistency. This is the Simple um, Hydro Gel Water Boost Moisturizer. I love this stuff. You can't get it anywhere because it's so popular. Um, it is a great moisturizer if you love a gel moisturizer. Now if you're a kind of girl that likes a thicker moisturizer, I would suggest this one by The Ordinary. This is their natural moisturizing um, factor with HA. Um, this is a super thick, thick formula. Yeah, so I definitely, definitely love this simple water moisturizer. I think it's great for, it's meant for dehydrated skin. So if you're like me and you don't drink enough water, I think you should <laughs> drink your water. And I'm talking to myself too. Um, I would definitely suggest this if you can find it anywhere. Honestly, I will try to, obviously I'm gonna link everything down below, but I will try to find this for y'all in the like, and put it down below, but it is hard to find anywhere. Like it's crazy. So that pretty much concludes everything that I used on my skin as of late. Um, I will film a Get Unready With Me if you guys want to see that. So if you wanna see that, definitely let me know down below. Or if you just want to see it on Instagram or on YouTube, I can do either or. I'm just going to figure out a setup for my camera in my bathroom because I obviously can't do it sitting right here in front of my vanity. <laughs> I can't do that. Um, or in my beauty room. So there's that. Hopefully you all love this video. And if you do, obviously don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And turn on the little notification bell to be notified when I upload videos. And give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And I will see you all next time. Bye, y'all.